Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Abundance, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about codependency, but today I'm going to draw a card from a deck that I created called the I Am Oracle deck. And so this is the deck. This is what it looks like. I Am Oracle deck. And on the other side, it has a word, one word, and then the booklet kind of gives a tool or some kind of exercise that you can work on to accept, embrace, embody, live into that word. So today I'm going to draw a card specifically focused on how to support us in codependency behaviors. So if you find yourself living into some codependency in this particular moment, go ahead and just kind of send some energy this way, put some energy into this deck and kind of think about your particular situation, what you're experiencing right now. And this card should support you. So shuffling up these cards, I have no goals or plans of what particular card to pick. So I'm gonna just spread these out this way. I'm just gonna pull a card balanced. What a perfect card for codependency behaviors. So balanced. We're going to go ahead and look up this card in the booklet, which I happen to have here in front of me on my computer. And that's page 12. So here we go. Balanced. So the mantra for this card is, I am balanced and grounded. And what it says on the card is, say this mantra a few times to yourself or out loud. I am balanced and grounded. I am balanced and grounded. Okay, so this is what the card says. In this moment, do you feel overwhelmed, stuck, anxious, stressed, and or worried? Life can sometimes feel like a juggling act of school, work, kids, parents, friends, pets, exercise, chores, healthy eating, getting enough sleep, paying bills, caring for yourself and others, creativity, fun, therapy groups, exercise, sports, and so on. Obviously, our lives can feel pretty overwhelming if we have so much going on and we don't know how to take care of ourselves. So the way that this could apply to codependency behaviors is when we are finding ourselves in a codependent sort of slump or stuck in someone else's energy vortex, trying to please others or trying to get others to do the things we want them to do, trying to control others. Then with codependency, feeling overwhelmed is going to make it even worse because now you're focusing so much on other people that you can't even get the things done that you need to get done or taken care of right? So practice these steps for balance, especially if you feel overwhelmed or stuck. And I'm going to specifically focus this on codependent behavior. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or stuck in a codependent pattern, here's just a list of things that you can do, except that you can't do everything by yourself. Nobody can. So think about the fact that when we get stuck or overwhelmed and we're being codependent, we can't take care of everything all the time for ourselves and for everyone else, right? Uh, take responsibility for packing too much into your days, lighten your load and or ask for help. Of course, that's the second one right after, except that you can't do everything by yourself. So taking responsibility for packing too many things into your life could look like when you're taking responsibility for your own things, things that you need to get done to take care of yourself in your daily life. And then on top of that, you're packing, taking care of everyone else around you. You got to be mindful that you may be doing a little bit too much. So take a couple of things off your plate, ask for help, do whatever you can to find support in taking care of the things that need to get done. And also in not taking care of everyone else's things. Learn to say no to adding more things than you can handle. Boundaries are essential for balance. Boundaries are also essential for codependent patterns and behaviors. So learning to say no is incredibly powerful, potent, 
no is a complete sentence and it's okay for you to say no. You don't have to say anything more. The thing about codependency is we always feel like we have to explain ourselves to everyone. That's not necessary. That's not uh, something that we have to do with every single thing that comes into our lives. We don't have to explain ourselves. Uh, the next thing says, if you make lists, put your priorities at the top of the list and get those done first. So put your things up there first. And if you have children, of course, you've got to put those on there as well. So making sure that you're taking care of yourself and your young children, because teenagers can take care of a lot of their own things. And even young children can take care of a lot of things like picking up their books, making sure that that's something that you do on a regular basis basis with your kids is teaching them how to take care of their own things and you're not trying to take responsibility for all of their things on top of yours. So make a list, put priorities at the top, you, your children, and then from there, if you feel like you can or want to support or help others, then put those lower down on the list. Get an accountability partner, someone you can check in with weekly who will point out when you are trying to do too much. So accountability buddies or accountability partners are really, really, really helpful, especially for those of us who really like to do things for others. We really need to be able to focus on ourselves. So getting an accountability partner focuses on you, and then you can also support the other person on focusing on themselves. In this way, you're not setting up a codependent partnership or, or friendship or relationship. What you're doing is helping each other become more accountable to yourselves. So I set aside one day a week on Mondays to connect with my accountability partner. And she and I have been doing this for a year and a half. And as we continue working every single week with each other, we support each other throughout the week, kind of checking in. And this is something that we have both made a decision and a choice to do without getting overly codependent with each other. Basically, we're just saying, hey, how's it going with that one thing you said you were going to focus on this week? or those two things you said you wanted to get done this week. And then they're doing the same thing for you. My accountability partner and I have been very beneficial and supportive with each other. And this is helping me balance my life. It's helping her balance her life. And we're not being codependent with other people, hoping that someone else can help us without actually asking for the help. It's gotten us into the pattern of knowing how to ask for the help we need when we need it specifically and not getting too bogged down and overwhelmed with trying to fit too many things into a week. So accountability partners can really help with balance and it can also help with codependency stuff. Schedule downtime just for yourself to do nothing but relax. In parentheses, it says take a bath, take a nap, meditate, read, take deep breaths, or just chill out. Finding balance for yourself, whether just in regular daily life or with codependency behaviors, really helps. When you know that you've been really overwhelmed, getting a lot of things done, go ahead and check some things off your list and then say, you know what, I am going to take a break and go take a walk, you know, take a bath, do something just for yourself, something that feels very supportive, loving, kind generous to self, meditate, you know, take a nap, whatever you feel like you need to do, set aside, you know, it doesn't have to be two hours. It can be 30 minutes, but that 30 minutes is so beneficial to helping you balance your brain, balance your heart, balance your nervous system, balance your energy and support yourself in really taking care of the body and the mind and the emotions of self. And so, yeah, becoming conscious and present and grounded by doing these things that are on this list can help bring balance to, to your life. Uh, remember, life is a journey, not a destination. So knowing that you've got many things on your plate can be overwhelming, but recognizing that it's not about getting to the end of all of those things. It's about being in the process of those things. And so recognizing that the journey is where we find balance is in the journey, not in the goal, reaching the goal. Because once we reach that goal, we're just going to set new goals. So it's important to recognize that balance comes from being in the journey, being present, being conscious, being in your body taking breaks, taking rest, making lists, 
all of that is about part of the process, the journey, not necessarily just the destination. And so these suggestions with my I Am Oracle deck is now available for pre-sale at my Etsy page, Terabundance, T-E-R-R-A-B-U-N-D-A-N-C-E at Etsy. They are available for pre-sale, which means that they won't be available until uh, the end of June. I'm going to be sending all the pre-sales out on June 30th of 2022. If you're listening to this later and the pre-sale is done, still you can go to my Etsy page. You can go to my Facebook page, my Instagram page. From here, you can link to any of those pages down below. If you're trying to find me and you want to find these cards, just click on any one of my links and they should take you to my shop. That will give you an opportunity to order these cards and have a set for yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today on Tuesdays with Tara for our very first card deck draw from the I Am Oracle deck. I'm going to start doing this once a month. I'm going to do a, a card draw probably the last week of every month to support and kind of bring together the focus that we've been doing for that month. So this past month has been all about codependency support. So go back and check any of the videos from this past month, which have been all about codependency. The first week was talking about codependency. Second week was a meditation to support the codependent behaviors and patterns kind of exiting our existence and our experience. The third week was tapping, doing an EFT process around codependency behaviors. And then this week we did a card draw. So thanks for joining me so much this month. Have a blessed and beautiful day and be you out loud.